Yeah, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. This is just going to be a brief update on the UT216C and predominantly the continuity and diode test. In my previous video on this, which I'll link to down in the description below, uh, this was a really poor continuity test. I'll just show you what it does now. And you see it takes quite a while to actually react. And there's, there's no fast latching on it that you'd see on a lot of other instruments. Um, I want to watch a number of other YouTubers who review instruments. Some of them actually use Pro Master leads, which are gold plated to see if it provides an improvement. Didn't have a set of those at the time, but I do now. So I'm going to swap them over and see if we get an improvement on the functionality of the continuity buzzer. Um, I'm just going to test with the normal leads just to see how loud it is. Okay, so with the normal leads, you get 69. Uh, that's my voice that's just done that. Uh, so you it was 69.9 with the normal leads. Swap over there. So these are the Pro Master leads in the UK. They are available from Simon's Electronics. I'll leave a link to his website in the description down below. Should you want a pair or a set, I should say. Um, and again, we'll switch him to max and we'll shut up and we'll test. Uh, so that came out as 70 actually. It's uh, it was dropping on the uh, okay so that's 71.5 uh, pretty much the same as the previous reading uh, there doesn't seem to be any improvement over using the Pro Masters than when using the leads from Unity um, I guess it's a little bit more stable, um, but there's no speed increase or anything. So it is just the instrument itself uh, that is just has a poor continuity test function, I guess. Um, what I do see on these other sites as well is they do some diode tests and have a little breadboard. So I've linked some of these up and we'll move on to... There's my diode test there. Um, I'll just tell you what, I should try and prop him up. So, okay, it should be a bit better there. So, diode, there is no beep into it when it shorts out. Um, we'll give it a go anyway. It's the two normal stud diodes. This one is reverse polarity, so you won't get a reading until you swap the leads over on that one. Um, and then we've got a Zener diode. This one's a shot key. This one's a high voltage power diode. They're all about okay. And then we've got a little high intensity lamp which does just light up. Uh, it does light up and do get a reading on the voltage. Uh, I'll just try with some normal LEDs. Uh, the red one up here, obviously, yeah, she lights up okay. Green one is okay. Blue one does light as well, and the white one does light. And I've got voltage readings on all of them, so that's all good. Um, so yeah, just a little update on the UT216C there. As I say, uh, it just seems to have a poor continuity function built into it, and you don't get any improvement by using better quality leads. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in the next one.